Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. It's that time of the week. It is Liverpool versus Aston Villa, or I should say Aston Villa versus Liverpool. This one is coming from Villa Park. Kickoff is in about 21, 22 minutes. <clears throat> and yeah, big, well, big game if it was played, you know, four or five weeks ago. Now it's pretty much a dead rubber. Um, the only thing is, um, depending on the result of this, it could encourage Spurs to go on and try to get fourth spot over Villa. Because um, I think Spurs can Spurs can mathematically get into fourth ahead of Villa. They obviously need to be perfect and they need Villa to drop points. So Liverpool coming forward here, Elliot on the turn. Running at the back four, he's got Salah on the overlap, gets it to him. Back in with a one-two. Elliot with the dink. Oh, it's in. Oh my god, Martinez with an absolute howler. What has happened there with Martinez just after me telling him saying how much of a good keeper he is? Harvey Elliott's put the put a cross in. Martinez has caught it. Fallen down, like, you know, dive, caught the ball, and then he's just dropped it and it's rolled into the goal. What has happened there? Diaz won that ball and Simon Hooper didn't give a foul. I was surprised there. Eh? Watkins now down the left of Villa. He's into the penalty area. He's done well there. He's pulled it back here. Tielemans is 1 1. Very, very good play by Villa. Watkins was just allowed to dance through the defence there. And I was talking about him as well before the game, how impressed I am with the way he plays. Yes. Michael, I fought this with about 10 games to go. It's just what they do. I've seen it far too often as a Liverpool supporter to know that City are going to win like the last 10 to 15 games of a season. Especially if they're behind teams, if they're not on top of the table. Is Joe Gomez. Oh, there's a tap in from Gakpo. <clears throat> Liverpool work it down the left hand side Liverpool is on top Boyos from Logan Liverpool is on top now I'm not sure if that was offside but looking like a, looking like it's 2-1 it's a tap in for Cody Gakpo and there, there's Gakpo pings it out to Salah on the, the right wing Salah crossfield pass here now to Diaz Diaz into the penalty area He's got Gomez on the overlap. It looks like Gomez is offside. And Gomez goes to, to curl it into the bottom corner, take his shot. Martinez gets a hand on it into the path of Gakpo. And Gakpo just passes it into the bottom corner. I think that's going to be offside on Joe Gomez. Gakpo is not offside because he's behind the ball when it's played. But it's the one beforehand, the ball to Gomez. Vara taking a look at this. Oh, Trent's gone over there as well. No. Don't believe you, man. I don't believe you. What are you on about? So, Elliot with the cross. Cross comes in. Oh, it's a header. Jarrell Kwanzaa, what a header that is. Wow. Thanks for the spoiler. That was an incredible header, though. Wow. 3-1 to Liverpool. That is an unbelievable header by Jarrell Kwanzaa. Elliot with the ball. Kwanzaa's onside. He's headed it back across goal, and it has gone in the toppest of the top corner. Yeah, I believe you now, yeah. I do believe you now. <sighs> wow, that's a very, very well taken goal. It's a nice little ball by um, Bailey. And yeah, he just tries to... to try, he, has to he has to, to control the ball and get the shot away. Do a 360 turn. And it just... Oh, Liverpool are giving it away just outside the penalty area here. And there we go, it's 3-2. Duran does get the goal. 
Three two Liverpool fuck acting in their own penalty area. Only got themselves to blame for that. But Duran picks it up, takes it nicely, hits it low and hard, bottom right hand corner. Yeah, Van Dyke to McAllister. Poor pass. McAllister then. McAllister with a poor poor touch. I'm not sure who it is. It's Chambers, I think, just picks up the ball, passes it to Duran. And Duran just hits it bottom left. Oh mistake again. Yeah, that's um that's Allison Van Dyke and McAllister just fucking about again. I mean we got away with one, the VAR one that was disallowed. You know, you can't keep doing it. Here's Nunes now. Just throw into Villa on the right hand side here. There's two and a half minutes left of this game. Villa really starting to Well, really trying to get a grip on the game. And here we go now as Bailey is at a nice turn. And there it is. It's Duran again. 3-3. Three, three. Well, there you go. Villa might go on and win this game yet. Yeah? They've still got time. That was a very lucky goal, that. Um, if Bailey, he's hit a ball through. Duran's tried to control it, but it's come off his foot. And it's lifted over the goalkeeper. I don't think he's meant to do it. I'll s Maybe he has, but... Yeah, he's just on side, I think. I don't think he's meant to do that at all. But, yeah. Yeah, Bailey, Bailey's just pinged the ball into him. It's just bounced off his knee or something. It's gone over the goalkeeper. Tom Hanks looks like he's going to have a heart attack. The last game of the season is Wolves. And that's going to be a three o'clock kickoff on Sunday. Um, also, the live stream for next week. I'm actually going to be in Liverpool. I booked it, obviously, for Klopp's last game of the season. If I could get tickets, I'd go. I didn't get tickets. But... Um, I'm going anyway because it's also going to, I'm just going to make it my stag party because I'm getting married this year. So my live stream is going to be from Liverpool, hopefully. If I can find somewhere to do it, I'll be doing it from Liverpool. Um, if not, there might not be a live stream or I might do it from a phone or something. I'll, be, I'll try and do something. Um, I hope to do it. Um. <coughs> so, yeah. But that's what's going to be happening next week. But everything else will be as normal. Um, there'll be a shit house of the week. There'll also be a shit house of the month. Um, this week, um, the votes have been in for a while now on the YouTube poll. So I'm going to create that video as well this week. And that'll be posted in the middle of the week somewhere. You know, just to split up the content a bit. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who tuned in. Really appreciate it. Everybody got in the chat. Riley Taylor with the normal the normality channel. Thanks very much for getting in the chat, even for the spoilers. It's all right. Michael Linda as well over on Facebook. Bernadette, Bernadetta, sorry, on YouTube. You know, thanks everybody who tuned in. Thanks everybody for the likes over on Facebook. There was lots of likes and a couple of followers as well over on Facebook. Really appreciate that. And for the likes and everybody voting on the poll as well on YouTube, just all of the interaction is just mega. Really appreciate it, guys. So thanks so much. If you haven't already, please do leave a like on the video. Um, that makes a massive difference. And that pushes my content out to more people. So it'll get seen by people who like the content. And also, if you haven't already and you do like the content, please hit that subscribe button. That is honestly, everybody who does that makes, it makes a massive difference. And that's how we are growing my community. And that's how I can turn this into a full-time job, hopefully. So with that said, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you very much again for tuning in. And until that next live stream, final game of the season, come on, I'll be live from Liverpool. Till then, up the fucking Reds.